So here's how to build a Wix website for free in 10 minutes. In fact, it's probably gonna be even quicker than 10 minutes and you can follow along with me right now. Let's get started. So once you have your Wix account, what you wanna do is go to the All Sites section right here, which is where I am, and you can click on Create New Site right here or right here, it's gonna be up to you. Let's do that now. So this is the section where you can start a chat to create your website with AI. However, I feel it's a lot easier to use templates and it's much quicker in my opinion. So let's go with that. Let's do Setup Without Chat. And for this, we're gonna be picking a template based upon the website that you wanna create. So we can actually skip this section right here. It's gonna be on the bottom right and skip. All right, so what would you like to call your website? Simply enter it in right here. I'm just gonna do my name, okay? It's gonna do James Canzanella. You just have to know what website you're gonna be creating and what it's all about, but obviously that's what you're gonna be filling in for your information. So let's click on continue once you do that. And for this, if you have any specific goals, you can do that, but for this one, I'm just gonna say like share knowledge, you know, not a huge deal here. You can either do continue or skip. And if you want any of these, you can, but what I'm gonna be doing here is using a template and just changing it around so we can very quickly get our website up and running. So I'm gonna keep it how it is and click on continue. You can always add these later in the app section. All right, so here we are in the Wix dashboard. What we wanna do is look at the top right on this section right here and click on design site. All right, and once again, we can generate with AI, but I think using the templates is fantastic. I'll give you some tips while we do it as well. Let's click on pick a template. So Wix comes with a wide variety of templates here. You can actually go through and check them out based on businesses and services, stores, creative, communities, and even blogs. What I'm gonna do is kind of just scroll through and look for one that's simple. I like ones that are clean and simple, kind of like this or this, where we can go in and you know, change around maybe the text for the heading, what our website name is gonna be, maybe a logo, some pictures. And this is a perfect example of one. It's clean, it's simple. Obviously you can see we have like a main image of ourselves there. We can change around the main headlines and the text. And what we could do anytime you find one that you might wanna use, simply click on view right here. And what you can do is just kind of go through and see what the pages are going to look like. Great. So the type of website that you create is obviously going to be based upon your preferences here, but I think this is a great one for say showcasing what you do. If you're an expert, if you have projects, maybe if you do client work or maybe even like a portfolio where you could change that around in your resume or projects. I think this one is going to hit a lot of different niches. So I'm going to go with this one specifically for this example. All right, so when the Wix website editor launches, it's gonna ask if you wanna enhance your AI content. I'd rather just do this myself, especially since I know myself very well and like the projects that I'd be working on and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna click on X right here. All right, and so here we are. As you can see, once the editor has loaded, it's gonna be a little bit kind of zoomed out. We can change that by going in so it's a little bit bigger. These are gonna be the main sections on the left. We can add elements, sections, pages and menus, and so on and so forth. But first and foremost, let's click on the section right here so we can make it a little bit bigger. First thing we wanna do is mess around or change the header and the footer. As you can see, this is gonna be the header. This is gonna be the main section in the middle and the footer. So once we change around the header and the footer, those are gonna pretty much stay the same on all the other pages we create. So as an example, let's go up here and click on quick create excuse me, quick edit. I don't know why I said create there, but I'm gonna change this around. So I'm gonna double click here. Oops, clicked on the underline by accident. Looks good to me. And I wanna zoom in a little bit so we can see that a little bit better. And what I can do, you know, let's have this little vector art. We can kind of drag it and drop it so it's a little bit closer over so it looks a little bit better. Everything on Wix is drag and drop for the most part. So it's gonna make your life so much easier in terms of editing. So, so once we save, which I'll show you how to do, we can click on the save button here. All right, so it's saying that it's saved. Okay, we'll look at it soon. So that's the header. Let's change the footer now. You'll notice very quickly we have quick edit. Put like your name or your brand there, just showing you how to change that around. If you want to call, you can have a phone number there. You can add that there. If you want to have someone send you an email, you can do that there. And of course, we have the paragraph with follow along with the social bar. So if you want to change these around, we have set links right here. You'll notice for Facebook right here with the link, this is going to link to Wix.com. But let's just say it was going to like, you know, Marketing Island, something like that. We can keep it like that. And it's going to be good because it's a web address and it opens in a new window. And we're going to click done. If you want to edit the other ones, you can do that as well. But that's pretty self-explanatory. Once you do one, you do the others the same. I'm going to click on done. Perfect, so now our headers and footers are actually saved, so they're all gonna be the same on all the pages that we have. Allow me to show you what it looks like. Let's click on publish. All right, perfect, so there's gonna be the header, nice and clean. Obviously, we can change this around so it doesn't look funny like that. It talks a little bit about us, and of course, we have our details on the bottom where anyone can reach out to us, okay? So let's get back over to it. 
All right, so we have text right here. I'm gonna click on this and we can do edit text. And I wanna make it a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna make it like that size there. Looks good, discover what I can do for you. We have services and portfolio, which go to like the resume and projects section. Okay, then we have images. Let's change this image around. Let's click on it and do change image. And what I wanna do here is, is click on upload media. Upload from computer, so this is where you get a picture of you. All right, so I added a picture of me. Let's, it's already highlighted, so let's do choose image to add it in. And if you're gonna notice, it's kind of cropping out the top of my head. We can change that around. Let's click on edit image now. And if you go to crop and resize right here, let's drag it up so it's a little bit smaller, somewhere right about there. And let's do save. And perfect, now it's gonna be of my face without anything being cut off. So the good thing about Wix here is that a lot of this is going to be very easy to change. This is gonna be a section where say, you know, you're just gonna talk about what you do. You can click on this, you can do edit text, and that's where you change it around. You're gonna notice that it is a little down below. We can just drag it up like that so everything looks a little bit better. And maybe if we wanna make this section a little bit shorter up, we can do it ever so slightly right about there. I'm just dragging and dropping it and keeping it as it is. Okay, so that's gonna be the main page. Everything here is just going to be changing around the text and of course adding social links if needed. Let's save that. So now we want to go to some of our other pages right here. So what we can do is click on pages and menu. We can go to say our resume right here. Perfect. So this is going to be our professional experience. Once again, there's not a whole lot that we have to change around here in terms of like the layout. Everything is going to be fine. For example, if we wanted to change this 2000 to uh, 2010 to present, we can obviously do the date. We can click here. Once again, we can edit this text. We can talk about, I started say online, just as an example, right? You know, whatever you want it to be. And here's gonna be the spot where we can add in some elements. Maybe we did wanna add an element here. Maybe you wanted to add more text and image. For as an example, I'm gonna go with text here in this paragraph. I'm just gonna drag and drop it anywhere in here. Let's say like right there. So that's how we can go in and add specific aspects. We can probably move it over so it's perfectly aligned with that. That's how we can add some text there. And it's gonna be the same thing if we ever want to say add a video, like video and music, you can get a specific video from YouTube and drag and drop it in there. We can do buttons and images. And that's what's another good thing about Wix. A lot of it is very drag and drop friendly. Okay, so this once again, business as usual, just editing some things around. Okay, and remember the bottom, we've already changed that. That's why we did that first. That's gonna be the same. Let's click on save. And let's quickly go through some of the other aspects of it. Okay, so once again, if we wanna change our pages, we click there and go to projects. Okay, and these are some of the projects that you might be working on. So this, once again, clicking here, we can change around the text. We also have an image, maybe we wanna change this around as well. So what we can do, another cool thing, they have Unsplash, these are gonna be royalty-free images. So I could just search for something like marketing and hit enter. In case you don't have any other images you wanna use, but as an example, I'm gonna go with say this one right here. Let's do choose image. And just like that, we're gonna have something a little bit more appropriate or maybe related to what we're doing here. We also have all these projects here. And if you didn't wanna use any of these, you can delete these. Just simply click on it and do backspace. And just like that, it has been deleted, right? We can move this up as well to adjust it. Oops, I moved it a little too high up just to add some more space there or at least remove a lot of the space so it doesn't stretch down for a very you know long way. So I think something like that looks perfectly fine, right? So that's gonna be example of projects there. Once again, we can save. And last but not least, let's go to contact. You're gonna see it right here. So what we can do is go to the pages and menu. And here is get in touch with James Canzanella. Maybe I don't like the way that looks. Maybe the text is a little bit too big or maybe I wanna make it go out this way. And I can move this little um, square over here. So I'm gonna do that. There we go, I think that looks a lot better. And this is gonna be a field where they can obviously change this around. This is Wix forms. In case you wanna change around the form settings, you can do this right here. Okay, we have the settings, uh, the submit message, and so on and so forth. So like what happens after they send the message, you know, thank you for reaching out. There are other things that you can utilize with this. So that's pretty much gonna be business as usual. I think it looks great in terms of how it looks right there. However, we also do have the contact always at the bottom of the page there. If you wanted to remove this, you certainly could. What you can do is just click on the Wix forms. I'm gonna hit delete. And what I'm gonna do, let's say we wanted to add an element, we're gonna add some text right here. Let's click on text. And what I'm gonna do is the I'm a paragraph one, I'm gonna drag and drop it. Obviously there would be a little bit more to it. So for example, two, something like that. I'm gonna make the font size a little bit bigger and stretch it out. That's if you just wanted to go by email, right? I'm just showing you various ways uh, that you can do this. Send me an email, let's do, there we go. 
And of course, if you wanted to make the other sections a little bit smaller, we can do that. We can go down here. If you wanted to add an image, you now know how to do that, right? We have add elements. We do have our image section right here. And of course, if we wanted to upload any more, we can do that. And remember how we already have one ourselves. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna do add to page. And once again, we're gonna need some more room. So I'm gonna move this down. Just an example of adding more elements to your Wix website, of course. And I'm just gonna click on save. All right, what I'm gonna do is click on the publish button. I forgot if we've done that already, but that's something you're gonna to wanna to do as well. So click on publish. And once that is up, what we can do is just simply click on view site. All right, and that's gonna cap off the tutorial about how to build a Wix website for free in 10 minutes. I'm actually not timing it. I think it's right around there. I'll have to look once I'm obviously editing it up and so on and so forth, but you can certainly do it a lot quicker than I did if I wasn't explaining a lot of the things. So something to keep in mind though, but so we have our header here that we edited with all the links to the main sections where we wanna go. We have a little bit about us, like say what I can do for you. Obviously this is what you would put there with some of your social links, services and portfolio, go to resume and projects. Everything else is just gonna be changed around, drag and drop as we saw. Let's go to resume here. All right, we have a resume section where I just very quickly edited some text here. This is gonna be simply changing around. We also know how to actually remove some of these boxes too and make the footer say not as big in case it stretches out too far. Next, we have our projects. Okay, we talked about some of the projects that we're creating. We changed around the images, how to add it, how to change it around. And last but not least is gonna be the contact page. And as we talked about, get in touch with James Canzanella, just kind of simply moving things around. We did have a contact form before, but in case you didn't want to use that, you can simply add your own email there. And now we're officially going to conclude this tutorial. All right, so I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. And if you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. I know there is a plethora of other features that Wix comes along with, but I wanted to give you the main idea and like the skeleton and the template and the basis for getting up and running with a website by choosing a template that you like and editing around the major aspects of it as we talked about the header footer, the images, the headlines, and obviously replacing all the aspects in it with what's gonna be most important to you and whatever you're gonna be promoting on your website. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.